Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan, and guess who called it? This guy! FX on Hulu's Why the Last Man has been not been renewed for a second season. Wah, wah, wah. Oh my, who called it? This guy called it back in August of 2021. I said, Why the Last Man was a movie idea not a TV series idea. And let's see what some of you said. Um, now, some of you said very nice things, politely disagreed, and I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> you know, and I, I said in my review of the trailer, I had not read the comic for the most part. I read a little bit of it. And uh, here are some of the responses. I... I had to just listen for two minutes to really cement the fact that you did not read the entirety of the graphic novel. Yes, I didn't. And I said that. You did not watch the entirety of my rant. It's not remotely feminist, but I guess when you write things like the Bart Simpson comic or Allergic to Cats, there's not much stock one can put in your name. Uh, yeah, I mean, Allergic to Cats was a... <laughs> short movie but the Bart Simpson comics um, they sold millions of copies around the world so I you know I guess you can I mean it was a weird framing weird framing uh, and again personal attacks but it's just dumb. I just find it funny uh, another person said you would be better to try to analyze why he thinks it's feminist and you should think about why you defend it by saying it's not feminist uh, says someone sort of defending me. I would say, yes, the comic were not feminist because they were too stupid to be. <laughs> so, but on the other hand, they certainly were made in a third wave feminist tone of voice in the world. Yeah, I think it was totally a feminist idea. I think it was a feminist idea. You had to understand that Vertigo was basically run by women. This was the prototype of the publishing situation we have now. And look, some of the stuff at Vertical, I really liked. I bought a lot of it. But some of it was a drag. You know, it was a real drag when they moved Transmetropolitan over to Vertigo. It sucked then. It went from being a funny, hilarious comic about the future in a Hunter S. Thompson sort of way to a dreary, dark thing about gender and the future. And uh, I blame the feminists for that. It, it's the feminist take. No, no, no. Men suck. <laughs> so, you know, I, I don't want to get into transmet. I, it's just one of the disappointments. Uh, to love, not to shake my head. I mean, if you're going to bash something, just saying. What did I do? What did I do? I put the word to instead of to. Are you correcting my spelling? Okay. Oh, no. he's She's... This person's correcting uh, somebody else's spelling. Uh, somebody says it finally got made. Looks decent. LOL. This might work if it's a comedy. <laughs> and the last man is Leslie Nielsen. Funny. Funny. I said, surely you can't be serious. Oh, and Leslie Nielsen commented. Not. Oh, no. Leslie Nason. As if that Bear Grylls thing wasn't excruciating enough to watch. Now this. Damn. Oh, guess he agreed. LOL, haha, ha. I will not watch unless we did a review on Inside the Booth. You know, you're plugging your stuff. Uh, this dude is a joke. Brian K. Vaughn is laughing right now. Well, he's not laughing today because the show just got canceled. He's crying on the internet, I assume. Jesus, sex as much? Shake my head. Ooh. Is that? Oh, yeah, that person also commented earlier. Um... This actually isn't a feminist story. It's about a story of what would happen if we lost one gender. That's That sounds pretty feminist to me. It's definitely not, yay, only women to deal with. Personally, I don't think there's any premise too stupid to explore. It's only a matter of execution. A story about all women dying could also be interesting. Again, it's 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 not a TV show idea. It's a, it's a movie idea. I think it's too big for a TV show. It would, it would cause cause the the it's it's too too disruptive uh, my uh, your judgments are based solely on assumptions correct I mean having not read the comic or seen the show or what they actually write yeah that's what judgments are based on 
uh, yeah, this comic, that's not the case. Brian K. Vaughn is an excellent, excellent writer, so the story, at least as it is in the comic, is not cookie cutter. Okay, so you're saying it's not feminist. Well, that's weird, because here's what the showrunner, El Eliza Clark, said in a statement, which, by the way, was cut and pasted into a post by Brian K. Vaughn, which adds from Heels vs. Va Babyface Red, and it looked, it appeared to be his, but it's not. It's really a, it's really a, a clip from her post, I guess. They all cut and pasted it, which shows you really, that's, you know, I get it. You know, when you're on a show, <laughs> you have to all present the same face. You have to. Because they're also angling to try to get another uh, network to pick up the show. Which they might. Um, I don't think so. But they might. I mean, if Hulu's canceling the show, I mean, there's no even rating systems for streaming. They must uh, be having a problem if nobody's watching this thing. They must know. They must know no, no one's watching it. To be canceled on streaming before the, the all the ten episodes are out? I mean, it's only been... They just showed episode seven. They got three more episodes before the season's over, and they've already basically canceled it. Now, maybe that's to give them a shot at getting picked up, but that's that's not a good sign. Eliza Clark says in a statement, which, again, was cut and pasted by Brian K. Vaughn, we, are, we have learned that we will not be moving forward with FX on Hulu. Season 2, Why of the Last Man. I have never in my life been more committed to a story. There's so much left to tell. Why the Last Man is about gender. <laughs> about how oppressive systems form identity. Oh, no, that doesn't sound feminist at all, does it? Uh, we had a gender-diverse team. A brilliant artist led by women at almost every level or every corner of our production. Producers, writers, directors, cinematographer, production design, costume design, stunt coordination, and more. Hmm. Could it be that the women got the show canceled? <laughs> it's the most collaborative, creative, fulfilling, and beautiful thing I've ever been a part of. Back off. We don't want it to end. FX has been an amazing partner, but we have loved working with them. And we're sad YTLM is not going forward at FX and Hulu. This is boilerplate stuff. All right? They can't... You don't want to pee on your boss's desk. Okay? FX and Hulu gave them a shot. It didn't work out. So they got to say something nice about them. Um, but you hear the way it sounds, right? Oh, we had nothing but women on this thing and a diverse team. Yeah, but you're being canceled. So, if if the cause of the success was the diverse team of women, is the cause of the failure the diverse team of women? But we know that someone else is going to be very lucky to have this team and this story. I've never experienced a remarkable solidarity that of this many talented people. Yeah, you notice what she doesn't talk about the story <laughs> what the hell was in the story this is the problem with the woke we had a diverse team we had women working at every corner of the production why aren't you loving this because that doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you know, I'm sure I could go back and find a film or a TV show or a cartoon or whatever where most of the team were men. Maybe even most of the team were Italian men. <laughs> and uh, so what? And, and, and for some reason, Italians didn't embrace the show. Oh, no! <laughs> Why? Maybe the show's no good. Maybe. Now, there are other factors, too. Sometimes you just get a bad time slot. Sometimes the marketing isn't right. Sometimes there's, um, oh, an insanity burning through Hollywood of gender identity that's killing everything. And since you... Look, I worked a bit in Hollywood. Not a lot. Enough. Enough to know how producers work. They jump on things. 
And right now, they're jumping on gender identity like it's going out of style. And they're dry humping it until there's nothing left. Okay? I can tell you, in my view, the only reason they greenlit why the last man is because someone got wind of the premise. The premise is all the men except one die. Green like that. Why? Because it's all about gender and gender and identity, and we could talk about oppressive systems. It's a little hard to talk about how oppressive men are when they're all dead. <laughs> but setting that aside, um, and again. <laughs> When you say, oh, it's going to be a show about women for women. It's going to have a women cast, blah, 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 blah. And the most important character is a man, written by a man, by the way, created by a man. I mean, what are you doing? Again, it was a good mental exercise. It would have probably been an okay miniseries, about six issues. Uh, it, you know, depending on how you wanted to dramatize it. It would be a funny comedy. Oh, it would be a great comedy. Somebody said that in the comments be amazing comedy. It'd be the one guy like being chased by all these women. Ah! <laughs> um, but in the end, you know, it. I don't think it was a good series. I just don't. You know, I think it was this was prototype woke. Woke before wokeness. I know. Some of you say, it was woke. Yeah, it kind of was. The whole premise is woke. Because the whole premise is the men die. And the women get to take charge. And everything coming out of Vertigo around that time emasculated men. This was the ultimate in men emasculating. <laughs> One man totally powerless against millions and millions of women. So you're telling me that's not a feminist pitch? Brian K. Vaughn, by the way, I think he's a genius. <laughs> I think that's a genius pitch. I wish I, I wish I would have thought of it. I wish I would have thought of that pitch. Oh, ka-ching. But, you know, li listen to this talk. Listen to it. The Last Man is about gender. About oppressive systems inform identity. You know how this show could have been innovative? You could have had... An opening, and I don't know if this was in there, so if it was, whatever. But you could have had something about trans people, right? So you could have had some woke idiots screaming that trans women are women, and then the virus hits. What happens then? Ooh, that would be <laughs> that would be something to see, right? That would be something to see. Because obviously the virus if it's based on chromosomes, and it probably was, yeah, that's not going to be an issue for... It, it's, it's not going to distinguish between your pronouns, unfortunately. That would have been edgy and real. But 2002 to 2008, that, that was not the era of, of trans. Okay, I, I hadn't even heard really about trans people back then. Back then, it was uh, other terminology, which I won't say, because people will get really bent out of shape. And I don't know what I'll, I don't know if I'm going to put this on YouTube. Um, so that would be edgy and cool, but again, there's still not a lot of mileage there. You know, TV shows. If you're going to do a drama, and this is a drama, there's only so much drama you can get out of all the men dying. Eventually, the women are going to adapt, and they're either going to say, well, we're all doomed, and we're going to die, and let's live out our lives as best we can, or, hey, we've got a scientific solution, and we've got enough frozen sperm to keep the human race going. Something. Something. I mean, maybe that would be it. You know, and then maybe the interesting part is to do a sequel to the movie in which we see a world in which all the men were raised by women. And no one really knows how to, and they have to rediscover how to be met. That would be very interesting. Um, but, you know, it's, again, it's all in the, it's all in the, it's all in that first episode. All the men dying. That's the cool part. It's like, oh man, this is badass. Whoa. And then boom, it drops off into boring survival BS. 
You know, how are we going to survive? How are we going to keep the army going? How are we going to keep, you know, again, who, who's going to work in the sewers, ladies? <laughs> who's going to who's gonna uh, climb up into the, 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 the electrical grids and fix, you know, wires and stuff like that? Yeah, there's a few women electricians, yeah. But, you know, you're going to need a hell of a lot more. A hell of a lot more. And you still, I assume, got kids to raise. I mean, there's still going to be female children. Um, and that, you know, see, part of the problem with these sweeping concepts is, can you imagine a family, right? The father dies and the male kids die. And they're kids. I mean, that kind of trauma, I mean, that destroys people. It would destroy people. There would be so many messed up people in the world who couldn't even function after that. You know? And I'm not saying just because they're women. If it was the opposite, it the men too. You know? Imagine being a man and you've got a wife and you've got, I don't know, seven daughters. You just all had daughters. And they all die. You come home and find their bodies. Jesus. I mean, that's it, man. You... you you're probably ready to hang yourself or, or blow your head off or, or, or you know, or, or your mind snaps and you just leave. Burn the house down. And you're like, ah. I mean, I can't even imagine. It's too much. It's too much drama is the problem. You know? At least with zombies, it's so crazy and fantastical. You can kind of like, you know, get over it. But this is supposed to be realistic. And it is kind of realistic in that you know, we're going through a pandemic, so, I mean, people already lost people. I can see why this, this didn't work. I can see why it didn't work. Between the pandemic and between the concept, it, it just, it was very niche. Here it is. Why the Last Man, canceled by FX. Canceled. Here's the interesting articles in Variety. How Ivanka Trump inspired Ambler Tamlin's Why the Last Man character. This is, uh, we're doing Variety. Why the Last Man paints a thoroughly grim picture of a world without Y chromosomes. Why the Last Man, Eliza Clark, discusses not making all the men monsters, including Dr. Man. Well, they're all going to die. <laughs> uh, why the Last Man gets Disney Plus release date in UK. Why is it on Disney Plus? Wouldn't it be under Warner Brothers? Why the Last Man team exploring gender and identity on FX Hulu adaptation. Best comics not about superheroes. That includes Why the Last Man. Why the Last Man showrunners exit FX series. This is back in 2019. Uh, they departed due to creative differences. FX orders Why the Last Man pilot. This was back in 2018. This is during the Trump admin, midway through. Let's see if there's any more here. Yeah, this is, uh, so they had a rocky start. Uh, talking about the casting of the lead. Timothy Hutton replaced on Why the Last Man Stamming, uh, Why the Last Man as production begins. It's back in October of 2020. So Eliza Clark got, got promoted to showrunner after the other guys left. So. Diane Lane gets cast. Uh, why the Last Man screenwriters depend to pen Ghost Recon movie for Ubisoft. <laughs> uh, yeah, once you're in the studio system as a screenwriter, you get to write a lot, quite a bit. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. So, yeah, I called it. I called it. I'm going to call this a win. I think this is a win. This was not a good idea to turn into a TV show. Yes, the series ran for six years. Okay, so six years, that would have been uh, 72 issues. Comics are not television shows. Now, some comics classically scripted comics if you have one comic one issue one story those make great tv shows I, you know why the last man wasn't really scripted that way it was more of a graphic novel scripting 
where like you put together 12 issues and then that was a graphic novel um so it was more of a, a longer narrative would have been better as a movie uh i think they would have had to make some changes um and probably wouldn't have satisfied the fan so look i was right those of you who doubted me you were wrong and I'm not too, uh, I'm not gloating about it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, look, Brian K. Vaughn, he's, he's out there, he's flacking. You know, if you're a big fan, get the petition going. Maybe you'll get the show back on. Maybe somebody will pick it up. It's not going to be as, it, it'll have to be a step down from FX, probably. Maybe ABC. I mean, they could get picked up by ABC. They're freaking woke. I mean, Disney is like uber woke, so. But it is a property of Warner Brothers, so I doubt they would sell it to them. Um, maybe, maybe, but I doubt it because it would be too legally. I I feel like there'd be too much of an entanglement there, and if that like Disney doesn't want to build up a property that's owned by Warner Brothers, it's just not good entertainment business. So, you know, that leads. The CW, which means the the budget would be severely cut. I don't know if you would have Diane Lane cast it, you know? And I don't know if you could do some of the stuff that, I mean, you'd really have to cut back on it, you know? Uh, you'd have to make the story smaller and more self-contained. Um, so I doubt it. I doubt this show's going to be picked up. This feels like a desperate ploy you know, and they they probably begged. Um, you know, once they knew they weren't going to be renewed, they probably said, well, listen, we want to try to get picked up by someone else. Is that cool? And Hulu probably said, yeah, no, go for it. Um, and maybe they will be. But, I mean, Hulu's, you know, FX is big, but Hulu, I mean, it's a streaming service. So, you know, I mean, they did have exclusive stuff just for Hulu. I don't know who would pick them up, though. Netflix? Maybe. But maybe all this woke stuff's finally ending. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is the sign we've looked for in the anti-woke community. The sign that it's finally, you hit the high water mark. You've jumped the shark. You, you've peed your pants. Uh, that it's over. Maybe the woke is over. Maybe they're finally going, Oh, we're not making money. Ooh. Let's not do this anymore. Let's just cancel all this BS and go back to the way we used to do things. Let's just quietly fire all these idiots. Um, and in that case, I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't put this on my resume. When that happens, man, I'm telling you, anybody even remotely connected to a woke project will be, will find it very hard to get work. You'll find it very hard to get work. You better take that stuff off your resume and go back to your old credits or just pretend like, oh, yeah, I, I, did, some, I did some work for Hulu. Oh, you did? Oh, great. What was it? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Various shows. Nothing specific. You know, I did this and that, but yeah. So, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I did have to gloat. I admit it. I'm gloating. Anyhow. That's it for Why the Last Man, and that's it for me, Tony D. We'll see you in the next one.